You're not going anywhere. Indeed we did. It looks like the stolen goods are all here too. We caught them red-handed. I highly doubt we'll be the ones to endure a beating here today. As long as we make good use of the Arcus's combat links. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. Here we go. I welcome all challengers. It's my turn. Turn to flames. Burn! <laughs> my turn. Just activate! Here we go! Alright, let's do this! Got it! Okay. Keep it up, everyone! How pitiful. That barely even qualifies as a warm-up. Well, when you're used to instructor Sarah's training exercises, warm-ups take on a whole new meaning. <laughs> That's very true. Bottom line, we won. Fair and square. I'd suggest you surrender yourselves and apologize to everyone in the Grand Market for all the trouble you've caused. And we'll be returning those stolen goods to their rightful owners, too. We would also be very interested to learn who hired you. Hmm? Elliot? What's wrong? I, I don't know. I just... I just thought I heard the sound of a flute. Huh? What was that? It sounded like the cry of an enormous beast. I believe we're dealing with the ruler of this forest. What would you suggest, Reen? <sighs> well, they may be thieves, but we can't just leave them to die. We're going to have to fight it. Understood. Uh, all right. Medios, help us. Watch out. This is a tough one. Right. Let's do this! Yeah, leave it to me! me. Of course. 
Jesus. Right. 
Then you are. My turn. Safe for now. Great! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I did it! Not bad. <sighs> uh, that was kind of terrifying. <sighs> I thought we were done for. <sighs> Still. At least we were able to defeat it. Reen, what was that skill you just performed? Oh, it was something I've been working on for a while. This was the first chance I had to put it through its paces, though. I definitely feel like I'm getting the hang of it now. I see. <laughs> you really are amazing, Reen! Yeah, 
You're always there to help us when we need it most. No, that's not true. There's really only so much I can do on my own. We wouldn't have been able to defeat that thing if we hadn't all been working together as a team. This was a victory for Group A as a whole. <laughs> well said. Indeed. Who are you talking about? What? Uh-oh. It seems we have some unwelcome guests. doing no such thing. With all due respect, Keldic is a major interchange station in our railway network. So in point of fact, we have every right to investigate any incidents that occur in this general vicinity, as I'm sure you well know. And in accordance with our investigation thus far, after having questioned all those connected to the incident, we have concluded that it is impossible for any of these students to be guilty of these crimes. Do you wish to contest this judgment? Well then, may I suggest you leave us to do our jobs? The RMP will take responsibility for returning all of the stolen goods to their rightful owners as well. Take them into custody. Thank you all very much for your assistance. My name is Captain Claire Revelt of the Railway Military Police. We're a division of the Imperial Army. And you are the visiting students from Thor's Military Academy, are you not? I'll need to file a report about what happened here, so would the four of you mind accompanying me?
good, but I'm not that good. Oh! Instructor? I was wondering when you'd show up. It's been a while, Sarah. That it has. Six months, give or take? Honestly, I had no idea you R&P folks were going to get involved with this. I suppose you had everything that was happening here figured out all along. <laughs> you overestimate my abilities. I did receive a report that suggested there might be trouble here, but that's it. Oh, from your brother, I take it. Nothing gets past you lot. We're just trying to make sure we're prepared to deal with any problems that might arise. But I'm sorry to say I don't have any more time to catch up with you right now. I really need to be taking my leave. I wish all the best to you and the rest of Class 7. Ah. Uh. Sleep again. You don't think she's faking it, do you? Hmm, no. Judging by her breathing, I believe she really is asleep. Well, it sounds like Group B turned out to be a complete disaster. If she had to deal with them, then come back here on the same day, I'll bet she's totally spent. Yeah, good point. Anyone would be exhausted trying to sort that out. It's hard to imagine her actually working hard, though, considering her usual attitude. It does seem as though she's genuinely looking out for us, however. So, this is how our first field study trip comes to an end, huh? I think I might have an idea now as to why we're here, though. I had the same thought. Testing the Arcus is clearly a big reason for coming here, but it's not the only reason. I think it has more to do with making sure we see everything that's going on with our own eyes. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, too. Learning more about places in Erebonia we've only read about in books, and getting to see the issues occurring in those regions firsthand, just like in Keldic. Indeed. And just as we thought and acted swiftly in the face of crisis this time, so too may we be called upon to do so again. These field studies may aim to test and cultivate those skills in preparation for our futures. Exactly. Add to that good judgment, decisiveness, and general conduct. And I'd say we have a pretty clear picture as to why we're out in the field. Basically, we're training everywhere we go. Well, you're about half right. Instructor! I was so certain you were sound asleep. <laughs> what can I say? I can nod off and back on again in the blink of an eye. It's what I do. As you rightly noted, Having first-hand knowledge of the areas to which you might be deployed is of tremendous importance, as is the ability to make swift, accurate judgments and solve problems with or without orders. Developing all these skills to their fullest is definitely a major part of why you're undertaking these field studies. Just as I thought. It's an interesting approach, but honestly, I've never heard of any other military academy trying it. Hmm. You say we're only half right, however. Which begs the question, what's the rest of the story? Hmm? Is something wrong? Oh, no, not at all. I was just thinking about what we did during our field study and why we were doing it. The whole concept seems eerily similar to the MO of Bracers. <sighs> now that you mention it... The Bracer Guild prides itself in protecting civilians over all else. So it seems an unusual source of inspiration for a military academy. But the tasks we were given in Keldic do seem to align themselves quite well with the Bracer's basic philosophy. 
Yeah, I guess so. Their emblem depicts a supporting gauntlet, and that's pretty much exactly what we've been for these people. Bracers still have branches all over the continent, but you hardly ever see them in Erebonia anymore. <laughs> well, you got me. Which means... <sighs> How are we ever supposed to take her seriously when she says things like that, then conspicuously falls asleep? Well, whether or not we did in fact get her, it still seems like Bracers are somehow related to our activities here. Not that Instructor Sarah is likely to come clean about our involvement anytime soon. I suppose until she does, all we can do is prepare ourselves in body and mind for our next field study. Yeah. Hmm? Is there something else bothering you? Oh, no. It's just... Well, we've been in the same class for a month now. And this whole time, I've been kind of keeping you in the dark. What do you mean? You aren't referring to the issue regarding your swordsmanship, I take it? No, it's not that. It's something I've been hiding from you all this time, regarding my social class. What? Are you saying your family... Yeah, I dodged the question when Machias asked. But technically, I come from a family of nobles. My hometown is Ymir, in the Northern Mountains. I'm the son of its ruler, Baron Schwarzer. You're from Ymir? Schwarzer? Now that you mention it, I have heard the name before. An honorable family, closely tied with the Imperial family themselves, despite being headed by a mere Baron. I, I never would have imagined you might be the son of a noble too. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected you to. I don't act like one. My dad and mom are both quite easygoing individuals. They don't behave like your typical nobles at all. And technically, since I was adopted, I don't have any actual noble blood running through me. I'm upper class in name only. So, you... Hmm. Sounds like you've got your own issues to deal with, just like the rest of us, huh? <laughs> I don't think of it as a big deal, and I don't want you to think of it as one either. I just didn't want to keep it a secret any longer. After everything we've been through these past few days, I owe you guys that much. I mean, you're all going to be a major part of my life from here on out. It's only fair to share as much as I can with you, right? I don't know what to say. You consider us to be major parts of your life? Honestly, has anyone ever told you that you can be way too serious sometimes? Just be sure you reveal your true identity to the others when we get back, too. Oh, I intend to. I wasn't expecting the Icy Maiden to show up when she did. We may need to adjust our plans to compensate for this interference. That won't be necessary. This was not a significant setback. If anything, it provided an unexpected bonus, giving us a valuable glimpse into the means through which the RMP and Intelligence Division coordinate their efforts. With both organizations posing sizable threats to our operation, that information alone makes this all worthwhile. <laughs> A valid point. Should we proceed as planned, then? Of course. The tyrant must yet face the merciless hammer of judgment. Yes. May his lofty ambitions be crushed to dust and swept away. up in the world <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you keep up the good work perfect you guys are
are the best!